Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. You have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, and they have been given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Jesus Christ. And all Scripture is inspired, and it's useful to teach us what is true and make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip His people to do every good work. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. As we ponder upon your word, give us wisdom through your Holy Spirit. We bring you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. This was Paul charged Timothy. Here is the message that charged in its simplest form. For you who are making this transition to a new stage of life, a transition that generally takes years to complete. For you who graduate, who graduates this year, elementary, junior high, and senior high school, the charge is simple. In verse 14 of Paul's letter to Timothy says, But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believe. Paul writes with realization of Timothy's youth. And rather than assume that Timothy would be immature and irresponsible, 
as so many adults expect of youth today. Paul writes in 1 Timothy 4.12, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. So the charge is simple. Be mature. First, there is a pattern to follow. Remember that you are not on your own. That's not what high school graduation means. You are not severed from the authority and protection of your parents. The relationship with your parents changes with marriage after that with high school graduation. Letter A, a pattern of teaching. Remember that everywhere you go, I hope that all that has been taught to you by your teachers will be your guide to success. Remember all the correction, the corrections, remember the encouragements, and the most important thing is never give up. And be sure that you will not give into temptation. Not, all, not only teachers, not only your teachers, but most important, important thing what has been taught to you by your parents. The battle for your mind will be intense, especially of who will study at public university. Letter B, the pattern of life. Your conduct, how you live, remember that your parents are no perfect. That's why I charge you to continue to follow your good conduct of what you see in your parents. So continue to follow the good conduct you see here in the church and other Christians whom you have come to know. And note the particular Paul mentioned in verse 10. He says, my aim of life. That refers to the purpose in life. And that purpose of Paul is to glorify God in everything he do. In your education, in your relationship, in your entertainment and employments, whatever you do, keep that first priority, that aim of life, that aim in life to be pleasing in God. Second, an encouraging challenge. For notice, verse 11 talks about suffering and persecution. Paul talks about suffering and persecution. And as a Christian, you will face persecution, troubles, opposition. You can please the world because the world hates you. You will likely call upon to endure opposition. If you are willing to live out your faith in Jesus, you may be ridiculed, shunned, and despised, or even harmed. But it doesn't matter. Continue in what you have learned and firmly believe despised. Letter A, there is what we call expectation of persecution. Expect it. Expect it in college classrooms, or in public universities, and even in high school. Expect it from others your age. Expect it for those who are older than you. But don't be discouraged. Receive that as an encouragement and a challenge to pursue what you have been started. Letter A, continuation of your faith. Not just what you know, not just intellectual knowledge, not just giving answers to people according to what you know and they want to hear. So the point is to continue not just what you have, been, you have come to know, but what that we, you have firmly, firmly believed. Let her be the foundation of your faith. That's why, that's why this challenge Paul's Paul gives to Timothy is so encouraging because Paul knows that Timothy has a foundation. As I preach today, especially to you who are graduating, you have the same foundation as the, as the encouragement of your soul. 
the foundation of what you have been taught for the past years in your life. In Paul's word, words we read in verse 15, he says there, And how from infancy you have known the Holy Scripture, we are, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. What a glorious testimony. Timothy know the Bible since infancy. I know some of you, or I think all of you, knows or have the same testimony like Timothy. And that's the encouragement this morning. Continue in what you have learned and firmly believed. From childhood, knowing from whom you learned it, beginning with your parents. And let me encourage also the parents to express to them the appreciation for us. The Apostle Paul would write in John and 3 John chapter 4, I have no greater, greater joy than to hear my children walking in the truth. Indeed, there is no greater joy any parents could claim. Even as pastor or kuya rejoice with you as you graduate in elementary, high school, senior high school, and junior high school. The last one is the goal of your faith. Notice what the Holy Scripture are useful for. Teaching, correcting, and rebuking what they accomplish. They make you wise. Not in mathematics or in biology, because you have all had those courses. You have those courses that they make you wise unto salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone, let me proclaim to you the wisdom and exhort you about it. The Bible teaches that the most important, the most important thing in life, for it teaches you how to be saved. It teaches you how to be right with God. It teaches you to know God and who He is. It teaches you about yourself, especially our own sinfulness. It teaches you how to love God, how to serve Him, and what it means to obey Him. Therefore, wherever you go, to college or not, that wisdom you must pursue. The wisdom you, could, you must continue to pursue the wisdom you have known since childhood, no matter what grades you have received, no matter what test score, no matter what further degree you might obtain, know this above all else. In Proverbs 1, 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So never forget, you have learned since childhood and whatever else you may study or learn in life. Never forsake the wisdom that is able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Graduates, congratulations. My warmest greetings and congratulations to the foremost champions of this momentous occasion, the completers and graduates of the school year 2019-2020. Graduation and moving up ceremonies are indeed a joyous celebration. And not only because it culminates another year of learning and discovery, perseverance and passionate work among our learners, it also caps off another year of successful collaboration among parents, teachers, education officials and personnel, community members, partners, and stakeholders of diverse roots, culture, and traditions. This year's theme, Sulong Idokalidad, Pagtataguyod sa Kinabukasan ng Bayan, speaks of our commitment and loyalty to our culture, diverse as it is, that reflects our soul and unites our people. Time and again, we have proven that regardless of our descent, status, ethnicity, and religious and political beliefs, we can unite towards the realization of a common goal, the delivery of quality, accessible, 
relevant and liberating basic education for the Filipino learners. While the Department of Education has carried on and embraced change amid technological advancements and the continuous shifting socioeconomic landscape, it commits itself to the holistic development of the 21st century learners, who are not only critical and innovative thinkers in the fields of science, mathematics, and robotics, but who are also artistic and creative and can thrive in the fields that appeal to our soul and our senses of identity. Rest assured that through the K-12 basic education program, DepEd shall strive to hone our future leaders and nation builders in a society that embraces diversity and its challenges and advantages. I am positive that whatever past they will wish to pursue hereafter, our graduates and completers will continuously enrich what makes up the Filipino soul, our culture, talent, history, and capacity to survive. Again, congratulations and mabuhay! Congratulations to the graduates. This is a very momentous event. Not just you have finished the senior high, but because you are one of the many young Filipinas to be the first living witness to testify the effectiveness of this new educational system in our beloved country. I personally believe that as a senior high school graduate, especially in this prestigious institution that molds and equip you with basic knowledge of life, prepares you to realization of your dream in life, today, you are more guided and equipped to make clearer decision in choosing the career best for you in college to pursue. But given with this option an opportunity to move forward in college, the skill and knowledge you have learned is now your best capital as a productive laborer. Graduates, go and pursue your dreams in life. You do not have only your supportive family, but also a government ready to fulfill your journey in achieving your plans. Today, opportunities are just our backyard. Let us harness and maximize this by uplifting life for us. My warm congratulations also to the proud parents, guardians, and benefactors. Thank you so much for your unwavering support. God bless us all. On behalf of the Good Shepherd School of Imelda Incorporated Board of Trustees and Corporators, I would like to express my warmest congratulations to the graduates and movers of this school year 2019-2020 and their very supportive parents. Ang atong tulunghaan sa The Good Shepherd School of Imelda Incorporated na ninguha pag-ayo o may hulat sa saktong panahon na makahimo kita o aktual na graduation program o moving up program tinambungan sa atong mga ginikanan, mga bisita o mga graduates apan ang worldwide pandemic may may hinungdan nga wala nato mapahigayon ang maong dakong gimbuhaton nga gipaabot sa tanan nga graduates ug sa atong pinalangga nga mga ginikanan ang the good shepherd school of Imelda incorporated board of trustees being Board of Trustees President, gidesisyonan na mo formally nga muhulat gikan sa bulan sa Abril, bulan sa Mayo, o bulan sa Hunyo para lang makahimu ta sa maong 
programa sa graduation o moving up program. Apan, walay permit sa atong pinalangga nga mayor, gani ang Board of Trustees sa The Good Shepherd School o Bimelda Incorporated nagdesisyon formally nga magahimo o virtual program nga sa diin mo kani ang atong mawitnisan ni Ining Higayuna. Chudor C. Robles, the President of Central Philippine University, said, and I quote, Life is a series of footsteps. We can only reach our goal if we make first important step from where, where we are to where we want to go. It does not matter how short or how long it will take us. What is important is determ determination on our hearts guided by our vision of our minds for us to arrive at our destination successfully. You are now graduates. You have reached the stage of your academic journey because you were determined to be one. Your journey was fraught with sacrifice and pain, with disappointment and failures, with anxieties and doubts, but it was likewise a journey filled with excitement and opportunities, with dreams and with achievements and success. I advise you, however, do not rest on the glory of your achievement, though grant yourself the moment to enjoy it. Life for you does not end by your graduation. There are still many journeys to take and thousand, if not millions, of footsteps to make. There are still many goals to reach and dreams to achieve for God, for yourself, for your family, and for our country. Don't travel that journey alone. Always seek God's guidance, protection, and provision. Make Him as your real partner in every step you take as your great good shepherd. Don't forget what you have learned from our institution. Apply it wisely in your daily living for St. Paul says in the Holy Bible, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. Finally, Mady Royden said, when you have nothing left but God, then for the first time that you become aware that God is enough. May God the Creator bless you and keep you, and may the beloved companion of God look into your eyes and have mercy upon you. May the eternal spirit countenance be turned to you and give you peace and success. Amen. Shepherdians, welcome to our first online graduation and we are praying that this will be our last. This is my message to you. This year we have faced a lot of challenges earthquakes that shakes not only our physical beings, but also it becomes our trauma. The devastation of the Ta'al eruption 
that buries not only the investment but also our plans in life. The COVID-19 that we are suffering right now and the whole world is suffering right now that not only affects our health but it also affects ourselves as a person. Sometimes we are discriminated, sometimes we are financially struggled because of the lockdowns. And this is the reality in life today. My challenge to you graduates that this year, especially to our grade 12, you may face a lot of fears, you may face a lot of doubts, you may face a lot of questions what you're going to do next. But this is my challenge to all of you. Maybe the word COVID-19 has a negative connotation, but I'm going to give you my message using the abbreviation of COVID. First is letter C. Letter C stands for challenge yourself. Challenge the things that you have not done before. Challenge yourself to dream things which is not normal from the last generation. Challenge yourself to be open to, to our new educational system, which is the distance learning. Challenge yourself, graduates. Letter O, overcome adversities. We have seen from news that this lockdown has given us depression. A lot of Filipinos have come up to, sui to suicides. And I hope and pray that we will not think of this negative idea, but we must overcome this adversity. We must overcome this problem. Next, because of the lockdown, we become financially unstable. All of our parents, most of our parents, were uh, do not have their jobs anymore. And you may ask yourself, how can I enroll in college? What will I do next? But then again, I will say, we must overcome this adversity. The next letter is letter V. Letter V stands for be vigilant. I remember Pastor um, Ray Kapada says this in his message that we must uh, apply this word in Bisaya, this saying in Bisaya. Salig, pero ayaw pag salig. Salig sa Dios. We can overcome this, pero ayaw og pag salig. Dili ka mag salig, nga mugawas. Nga dili prepared, dili ka magsalig, that you will overcome this COVID because until now, we do not have um, the solution and, or we do not have the vaccine yet. And next is don't just pray, but keep the faith. And we must remember faith without work is dead. So every day, as we face this COVID, we must pray and we must take action also. The next letter is letter I. We must impose the rules. What are the rules given to us by the DOH and IATF? We must wear masks when we go out. Minors and senior citizens, dili pa pwede kagawas. And of course, we must disinfect our hands. Moni siya ang atong dapat himuon. This is our new normal. Para dilit na matakdan o COVID-19. The last letter that I will impart to you is we need to ask God for a divine wisdom. My question to you is, what if sa imong pamilya na anay magka-COVID? What if sa imong barangay na anay magka-COVID, what will you do? We need the divine wisdom. 
we must not resort to suicide. We must not resort to social discrimination. But we must ask God, unsa akong himuon? And of course, one part of the divine wisdom is we must not listen to fake news also. But we must read and we must believe and we must apply ang ginapost sa DOH. Bantayan yun natong atong mga Facebook students. So this is my message unto you. Do not forget God. Do not forget the verse nga atong ginamemorize for me there is a school. God said, For I know the plans I have for you. Plano gya po ni sa ginoo ang mga panghitabo sa atong kalibutan. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And plans to give you hope and a future. Maog yun na atong kuptan karon. Hope because we still have this future amidst these challenges in life. Do not forget our school shepherdians. Do not forget our alumni. And congratulations to our graduates. God bless us all. Amping Permi. To the graduates of the school year 2019-2020, greetings of peace. Before anything else, permits me to challenge all of you graduates to tell your parents, mama, papa, mommy and daddy, tatay and nanay, I love you so much. Thank you for guiding me into the bright, into the right path of my journey. You made me whole and you made me who I am. With strong determination and perseverance, acquisitions of knowledge in its most basic has come to an end. Graduation is the rea realization of a dream, but not an end, but a beginning. To the Kinder two graduates, the achievements you have fulfilled today make your parents very proud, knowing that being a member of the New Fights graduate, for sure, you are able to know ABCs and you'd, you have given a lot, much to their expectations. To the elementary graduates, you have just achieved the multiple ability you have encountered in the past previous years, for almost six years, leading you today as graduate. Continue the works you have done and make it as a guide in pursuing your next ladder of education in secondary curriculum. Not everyone is a graduate. You are already a lucky one. Make the most of all. All the best for a bright future ahead of you. May you emerge a winner in the kind of race that life offers us. Keep the faith. Happy graduation. To God be the glory. I have a verse for you, Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight yourself to the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. So, once again, congratulations, and I thank you. Let me congratulate you on your achievement for having successfully completed a secondary course. You are now faced with even greater obstacles to overcome that of charting your own future. The Good Shepherd School of Imelda Incorporated has equipped you for new challenges. She has provided you with adequate education and proper training. She has made available for you the experiences which will establish you for the years ahead. It now remains with you to move towards your desired goals. However, in whatever you ahead, share this with your fellow men in order to help enrich and refine their customary ways of living, thus contributing to welfare of society. 
as you march out of the Good Shepherd School of Emilda Incorporated into a world visit with a political and social stability, military unrest, economic depression, and distorted values, I can only give you my sincere wishes and prayer for the best of luck. God bless you all. I am honored and proud to present to you the Grade 10 Completers. For the Grade 10 Gold, Almendras John Paul S. Service Award, Ampoan Jason Leadership Award, Athletic Award, Service Award. Abduhan Christian Mark F. Dancer of the Year, Good in Math, Good in Filipino, Good in Science, Drum Corps of the Year, Athletic Award, and Service Award. Kudyongan John Joshua B. Leadership Award, Good in Science, Service Award. Buban Mark Angelo. Good in English, Good in Math, Good in Filipino, Good in Science, Leadership Award, and Service Award. The Regla John Dave P. Athletic Award and Service Award. Ibet Jeffrey John S. Dancer of the Year, Athletic Award, Jumper of the Year, and Service Award. Hinova Michael J. S. Dancer of the Year, Good in English, Good in Science, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year, and Service Award. Joaquino Zardo Enrique T. Service Award. Lim Carl Brian T. Service Award. Gloria Andre B. Service Award. Pablo Raymar M. Service Award. Undap Michael T. Service Award. And for the female, Alde Carol Gay L. Athletic Award and Service Award. Kalika Melchi A. Good in English, Good in Science, Leadership Award, Athletic Award, and Service Award. Kamahalan Jeneline P. Service Award. Komoilo Elisha Shim C. Dancer of the Year, Leadership Award, and Service Award. Kunting Miriam M. Good in Science, Leadership Award, and Service Award. Diasis Daniela P. Dancer of the Year, Leadership Award, and Service Award. Junisho Michelle R. Leadership Award, Service Award. Esqueta April Grace C. Dancer of the Year, Good in English, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year, and Service Award. Ferraren Francis May B. Good in English and Good in Science. Galio Crystal K. Good in English, Good in Arpan, Good in Filipino, Good in Science, Leadership Award, and Service Award. Gerardo Ellen May A. Good in Science and Service Award. Hamero Monica S. Service Award. Labastin Nezi Faith O. Dancer of the Year, Good in English, Good in Math, Good in Filipino, Good in Science, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year, and Service Award. Larga Vista Nina V, Dancer of the Year, Good in Science, Leadership Award, Service Award, and Good in Math. Lim Anna Rose D, Singer of the Year, Good in Science, Leadership Award, Athletic Award, and Service Award. Lindawan Stephanie L, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year, and Service Award. Mag-Asdang Michelle S. Good in Science, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year, Athletic Award. Magaro Aya F. Service Award. Manginsay Julita A. Dancer of the Year, Jumper of the Year, Leadership Award. Marfil Crische M. Leadership Award. Oliverio Marilyn E. Dancer of the Year, Jumper of the Year, Leadership Award, and Service Award. Padernal Christine E. Good in Science, Leadership Award, and Service Award. Padernal Lizelle B. Good in English, 
Good in Filipino, Good in Science, Leadership Award, Athletic Award, and Service Award. Palong-palong Alicia Jean B. Dancer of the Year, Leadership Award. Parenias Beverly Joy E. Service Award. Pinote Island L. Service Award. Pustrano Julina P. Dancer of the Year and Service Award. Poet Justine M. Dancer of the Year, Singer of the Year and Service Award. Romano Leslie Jane L. Good in Science, Leadership Award and Service Award. Civiliano Mary Grace N. Service Award. Suela Aryan May S. Good in Science, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year and Athletic Award. Urut BJ Maya, Dancer of the Year, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year and Service Award. Suntoliano Isel K. D. Service Award. Villanueva Millar Faith C. Dancer of the Year, Leadership Award, Jumper of the Year and Service Award. Yap Generals R. Good in English, Good in Science, Leadership Award and Service Award. And for the Great Ten Silver, Male, Basco Griffith, Athletic Award, Dancer of the Year, and Service Award. Bautista Keith, Good in Math, Good in Filipino, Good in Science, CAT Officer Award, Athletic Award, Dancer of the Year, Service Award with Honors, Good in Arpan. Berhamin Justin Robert, Service Award, Athletic Award, and CAT Officers Award. Berhamin Rudel L. Leadership Award. Kenyada Ivan Ray, Dancer of the Year, CAT Officer Award, Athletic Award, Service Award with Honors. Deregla Danley, Athletic Award. Idea Jake, Good in Math, Good in Filipino, Good in Araling Palipina. Deregla Jandy P. Service Award. Garelio Roderick F. Service Award, Safety Officer Award, Leadership Award. Henerelao James Clark. Service Award Habuan Jonathan Service Award Willar Denmark Service Award Athletic Award Dancer of the Year Safety Officer Award Langyang Brian L Service Award Limbarok Jeric Paul Athletic Award Dancer of the Year Safety Officer and Service Award Mantilla Barry Jr. Good in Science Service Award, Athletic Award, Dancer of the Year, Leadership Award, Live Honors. Mendoza Rudy, Athletic Award. Namakpakan Justin Claire P. Service Award. Oxenia Jericho, Service Award. Olanda Grunel, Athletic Award, Good in Filipino, Service Award, and Good in Araling Pandipunan. Ondi Isidro Noll. Pinaran Raylan O, Rabaka Janre, Service Award, Athletic Award, Leadership Award. Ruiz J.O. Pell, CAT Officer Award and Service Award. Saknana Sridel B. Civiliano Roberto Jr. Sumikilay Ramses T. Salibat Ivan. Dancer of the Year and Service Award. Takasan Vinzel Jake, Athletic Award. Yanga Andre, Service Award. Yap Jarek, Athletic Award. And for the female, Abalorio Genevieve, Service Award. Amante Early May, Service Award. Bonus Rachel, Service Award. Dancel Jenica, Service Award. Dugines Rostica, Good in Service, Service Award, Athletic Award, Safety Officer Award with Honors. Ibio Evelyn, Service Award with Honors. Galvi Lizel, 
Service Award. Gayas Kindly Babe Service Award and Dancer of the Year. Pumalon Carme Good and Science Service Award, Athletic Award with Honors. Lantao Narcuza Service Award. Lumbuan Juvelin Good in Science Dancer of the Year Service Award with Honors. Pina Flor Marilyn Service Award. Ramos Romilin Safety Officer Award and Service Award. Reyes Sarah Jane Good in Science Service Award Safety Officer Award Good in Filipino with Honors. Sarip Aiza Good in Science Service Award Safety Officer Award and with honors. Serania Noemi, Service Award and Safety Officer Award. Solatorio Jogelin, Service Award. Sulia K.N., Service Award. Tadea Jerica, Jump Corp Member Awards, Service Award and Safety Officer Award. I'm proud to present to you the Kinder 2 Completers. Belgera Ronald Dane, Most Friendly, Peacekeeper, Batang Maasahan, Cheerful Soul Award, Book Lover, Aspiring Award, Kanyuso Rinsel Jan, Most Friendly, BCB, Happy Helper, Cheerful Soul Award, D. Panay, RG Ainer S. Batang Maasahan, Friendly, Cheerful Soul, Kayako Award, Book Lover, Budding Mathematician, Aspiring Award, Stories, Willard Van C, Kinder Curious, Neat Kid, BCB, Cheerful Soul Award, Book Lover, Great Giver Award, Gadjano Riljid L. Cheerful Soul, Kaya Ko, Batang Magalang, Neat Kid Award, Happy Helper Award, Young Dancer, Book Lover, Orot Christian Mark D. Most Friendly, Batang Masipag, Batang Maasahan, Batang Magalang, Kaya Ko Award, Abiliana Angelbert A. Neat Kid, Peacekeeper, Tapat, Anis Kid Award, Abdulaziz, Johanna S. Neat Kid, Little Teacher, Determined, Friendly, Batang Maasahan, Star Reader, Book Lover, Budding Mathematician Award, Datoy, Alexa, Natalie A. Neat Kid, Cheerful Soul, Friendly, Bata Magalang, Kaya Ko, Self Care, Star Award, Awesome Artist, Good Communicator, Book Lover, Budding Mathematician, Budding Scientist, Artistic, Great Giver Award, Derecho Cyrus Kenneth B, Neat Kid, Batang Magalang, Friendly, Kaya Ko, Happy Helper, Book Lover. Rodriguez Jane Nicole A. Neat Kid, Batang Maasahan, Kaya Ko, Cheerful, Enthusiastic, Friendly Neighbor, Brave Soul. Star Reader, Great Giver, Aspiring Body Mathematician Award, Book Lover Award Salies Hana Joy N Neat Kid Kaya Ko Batang Magalang Batang Maasahan Team Player Star Reader Graceful Dancer Young Singer Book Lover Young Dancer Tori Campo Sigrain R Neat Kid Batang Maasahan Brave Soul Kaya Ko, Peacekeeper, Disiplinado Ako Award, Little Teacher, Artistic Hand, Budding Mathematician, Batang Manunulat, 
Parilla Caitlin A. Neat kid, batang maasahan, disiplinado ako, friendly neighbor, kinder curious, batang magalang, kinder curious, kaya ko award. Little teacher, star reader, book lover, kinder body award. Announcement. Enrollment is still going on for our junior high school, senior high school, and elementary and preschool department. As you have known, uh, free ang atong junior high school and also our senior high school. Ang atong senior high school, under na siya sa senior high school voucher program and naapagid sila yung allowance na ihatag sa school na up to 5,000 pesos. And special announcement usab sa atong mga estudyante, you need to enroll either online, kung dili mo ka enroll online, which we will put the link below. Uh, kung dili mo ka enroll online, in inyong parents or inyong guardian mo anhidiri sa school para i-enroll mo. And of course, we have our special announcement for our parents and guardian para sa ito ang new normal school system orientation. Dili na ito pagahisigutan o sa ang bago nga uh, sistema sa itong education in the whole Philippines, which is the distance learning. So, dili na ito may bala ng uh, pila ka-klase nga distance learning o dili na ito i-markdown uh, i kung unsa nga class mo sulod ang inyong mga anak either online, offline, modular, or blended learning. So, i-explain na ito ang nga time and of course, dira nga time. Dira po ninyo isulod ang inyong anak kung aha sa dapit nga class mo sulod diri uh, sa tuwang bagong school system which is the new normal educational system of the Department of Education in the whole Philippines ako ang i-announce ang schedules at ang mga ginikanan kung dili available ang inyong ginikanan ang inyong hang mga guardian or any representative basta dili lang siya minor so sa August 17 7 to 11 a.m. ang schedule nga na para sa preschool so, atong dun siyang gagmay, gagmay, gagmay ang schedule para sa uh, social distancing o ay uh, request sa mga parents and guardian nga early mo anhidiri sa school kay i-monitor pa ang atong temperature. So, naman tayo thermal gun and of course, the protocols, uh, safety protocols ato pang paghahimuon. So, earlier than that, 7, dapat na anata diri. And uh, sa August 17, alauna to alas 5 sa hapon, ang schedule nga na para sa mga elementary. August 18, sa parehong atak na, 7 to 11 a.m. Para na sa mga grade 7, bago na to nga mga enrollees sa grade 7. Para, uh, sa alauna, pagkahapon, alauna to alas 5 para sa atong grade 8. August 19, Sa buntag, para sa grade 9, 7 to 11 a.m. Sa hapon, 1 to 5 p.m. para sa grade 10. And August 20, uh, Thursday na siya, 7 to 11 a.m. para sa grade 11. And uh, sa hapon, 1 to 5 p.m. para sa grade 12. Ginahangyo yun ako ang mga parents, of course, sa pag-attend ni Ana. Kung dili man yun mo maka-attend Ana, i-live na muna siya Facebook. And then, uh, i-add request sa messenger, magbutang po ni link sa ito ang messenger account and Facebook, Facebook account, official Facebook account sa ito ang school, diri sa ubos para sa inyong mga pangutana. And uh, thank you so much, Shepherdians. God bless us all and I'm being firming.